Hey everyone! I'm really excited to be making my first video on this channel and I am really happy that you invited me here and I... <laughs> Okay, before I start anything, I'd like to say thank you to Tokyo Fashion for letting me use the information on their website and their photos for this video. Um, this video is going to be seven facts or styles of Japanese fashion. Number one, Lolita or Alice K is possibly the world's most famous global fashion. This fashion is recognizable by its bell-shaped skirt. Lolita takes its influences from historical European fashion. Number two is Decora. Decora is emerged in the 90s and influenced Japanese street fashion for years to come. In almost all looks you see on the streets these days, you can see elements of Decora, whether it be the colors or the styles or just the items that people have chosen to use or the shapes that they've decided to replicate. Number three is Dolly K and Mori K. Dolly K and Mori K are commonly mistaken for each other, but are both very different fashions and take influences from different places. Dolly K takes its influences from more of a similar background to Lolita. But it doesn't follow the strict shape and design of Lolita fashion. Whereas Mori K takes more influences from more natural colours and more loose fitting shapes. Number four, Cult Party K. Cult Party K is a street fashion that uses creams, chiffons, and pastels to express a more feminine, rebellious look. This fashion is similar to Fairy K, but has possibly slightly lighter colours and less use of all pastel colours. Number five, Garu. Garu takes its influences from American fashion and mainstream fashion, but it creates a more exaggerated, expressive look. And I find it really interesting. Number six is Shiranui. Shiranui is a traditional Japanese makeup style, which is more seen with gothic looks. But recently, thanks to artists like Minori and Buzz, Buzz, but I'll write it on the screen. Um, thanks to these artists. Uh, Shiranui is taking a new interesting direction. Number seven. All of these fashions are interchangeable. You can have Mori Dolly K, you can have Decor Lolita, or you can have something completely different. Even though these are pronouns, they can act just as easily like adjectives. So that can be really awesome in the way that Japanese fashion allows you to express who you are, but still describe it. And I think there's a little bit of a lesson there. Thank you for having me on your channel. And if you are interested in learning more about Japanese street fashion, or just what's going on at the moment, I really do recommend Tokyo Fashion. The guys there seem really cool, and real nice, and we should all just go and look at Minori. Minori, because she is my idol. It's cool. It's cool. No one needs to know that I forgot the outro. That's good. That's cool. It's, it's cool. It's, it's cool. It's cool! Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, Melissa. It's cool. No! <laughs> and now I gotta make it look.
look like it never happened. No. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, Melissa.